Minor Reno Director's Cut is the greatest video game I have ever been allowed to gaze my eyes upon. From its gameplay, to its story, to its characters, to its art style, to its music, everything about it is perfect, and here's why. Just quickly before we begin, I have a Twitch, Discord, and a Twitter, all linked in the description below, so if any of that interests you, you know where to go. Thank you. Anyway, Minorino is so well made that it redefines what I consider a perfect game, because I truly never thought it could get this good. To ease you in into what Minorino Director's Cut is, I'd like you to imagine the difficulty of Dark Souls with the charm of Mario 64. Every aspect of this game has been handcrafted to be fully optimized in the player's best interest. To prove this point, I'd like to start with arguably my favorite feature in the game, the controls. The controls have clearly been in design for many years prior to their use in Minorino. They are truly some of the most unique, yet familiar controls. It's like going to a family reunion every time I open up the game, and I'm welcomed with freshly baked food and a warming atmosphere. It's so hard to control, the controls are so I can't bad. help but respect the people who speed run this No, game. fuck no! <laughs> Why? They're, they're all in clutch! The controls are so bad! I thought you said you were a god gamer. Who designed yeah. this? Like a, you know the spies that had like the cyanide oh pills god. in their fucking tooth? Dude, this- oh my It's god. so terrible made! You gotta admit, it does have pretty good gameplay. No! <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst part about it! <laughs> but what Minorino Director's Cut does that really outdoes all games is its character design. Everything from Minorino to the enemies you face are all clearly handcrafted and meticulously designed so that every part of them makes sense, and blended in nicely with the environment. It even has fully animated cutscenes. Oh! <laughs> wow! It has full-fledged <laughs> cutscenes? Yeah, dude. No, <laughs> no way. What a, what a good Dude, game. are they really there? Mm -hmm. Fucking Mike Wazowski looking at him. Like, okay. Hey, yeah. Okay, I'm actually gonna kill these guys. Never mind, they'll oh, kill me. they kill you. <laughs> what? <laughs> what a Bullshit! <laughs> what am I supposed to do? Damn, I suck to suck. Oh I God. like how his face doesn't change. <laughs> yeah, because the dude who fucking made this is below the age of 13 and can't program more than a fucking one character. Oh, uh, actually, this has got a two-player mode. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the oh, same character indeed. duplicated! I believe, believe in you. After beating this level, I'm gonna go to <laughs> wa my local Walmart and purchase a firearm. Great <laughs> solo <laughs> in Walmart? Yep. They sound like groceries. you are. Fucking... Oh, watch out! <laughs> <laughs> what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Why? Why can you suddenly fucking... Okay, so why does sometimes the little green alien can't jump for shit like his fucking legs are tied and sometimes he jumps like fucking LeBron? This is like McDonald's investing like 100k to have like a funny video game for their like an ad campaign. And wait, what do you want me to do? The camera is stuck in my fucking mouth the entire time. Like I got a fucking selfie cam just stuck, lodged it down my throat. And just staring me down the eyes. I can't see anything I'm doing. The the environment is another one of my favorite parts of the game. From its grassy, hilly landscape, to the castle, to the beaches, to the different obstacles, it all just comes together so well, like a Van Gogh painting. It all breathes life and is truly the peak of game design. This is... What is... Chilling. No, what is this? <laughs> who, just, who designed this? At least the developers were merciful and didn't add fall damage. Oh my yeah. fucking god. They <laughs> were not merciful. <laughs> Holy shit, Pineapple, you made that look so easy. What? Yeah. Why? <laughs> it sucks so much. Why? Dude, just jump higher on the bounce pads. What do you mean, jump higher? It's a checkpoint. You've reached a checkpoint, don't worry. What the fuck? Oh. Yeah, that's the dragon. I could figure. You have to beat it in chess. <laughs> I, I don't believe that. <laughs> you don't You're believe you have to beat it in chess? Yeah, I don't believe I have to beat it in chess. <laughs> what? Try not to clip through the ground. Oh. 
I'm trying. Try. Oh my god. <laughs> How? It does two damage. Yeah, and I have one heart. One shot, boys. Cool. Oh. That was close, just be careful. Motherfucker, what? <laughs> the real winner was the developer. Why? No. You sure you don't need me to help you out here? Yeah, what? I've been. What's the help? You've been holding a fucking government secret from me the whole time? What is it? <laughs> what a nice guy. I also so really think generous? it's cool that you like explosion stuff is like oh, a like, like, Why? Oh, why? <laughs> why? Why? <laughs> this sucks so much. Oh. No! no! <laughs> it's such a, it's such a <laughs> terribly designed game! That hurt me. That hurt me Why? so much. The music in this game is simply masterfully designed. The composer must have been trained with the likes of Mozart and Drake to produce something this inspirational. It truly is the staple in my mind for what music should be in the future, and has redesigned where I thought music could go entirely. <laughs> Steve, don't to join you. No, I don't want Steve, you to I'm join me. I think we can do double the minor fun. Uh, I want you to go fuck yourself. <laughs> 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 oh, fuck. Uh, this Steve music's like... driving me insane. I need the volume mixer back. I'm fucking lowering it to zero. The movement in this game is simply astounding. Remember earlier when I said this game has the difficulty of Dark Souls and the charm of Mario 64? I'd like you to imagine the difficulty of Dark Souls with the charm of Mario 64. Well, this is also shown in the movement. If you thought the movement capabilities in Mario 64 were custom, wait till you play Minorino Director's Cut. It is truly some of the cleanest and most innovative movement I have ever seen implemented into a game of its type, and I don't think we'll see anything like it for years to come. You legs. don't move with WASD, you move with the arrow it's keys. It's the arrow keys, yeah. yeah. Holy arrow keys. shit, you don't move with WASD? Wait, how do I- can I jump? Uh, Z and X, Z and X. Why would it be Z and X? <laughs> oh, I, dude, it's like Mario Odyssey! What do you mean? Z yeah. stands for jump. They copy, <laughs> they copy this game. Dude, he, wait, oh, this movement's crazy! Yeah, it's literally- it has the movement of Mario Odyssey. With the hat? Can I hat jump? Yeah. Oh? <laughs> Crazy. I'm gonna get a it's bit a custom video. with it. What? Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh my god, it's like a fucking Beyblade stuck in hot glue, and then I just have to fucking turn him, and then I have to like, hold like forward that. in the direction the right, the that right. I want him to move! Oh, to the left? Oh! What? <laughs> God, it's insane. It's what? crazy. This movement, it's like I'm just walking through jello. <laughs> Wait, hold back and then start holding forwards. Just try that out. So, <laughs> His karate <laughs> stance. So droopy. <laughs> wow. You know, Red when Steve. you said, hey, play this game, it'll be fun, I was like, ah, well, it can't be that, like, <laughs> awfully bad. <laughs> it just can't. There's no way someone can make something that, you know, stupendously t terrible that I would genuinely dislike it. No, this is- this is it. You- you've- you done it. How are you on the swing? Oh, oh, oh. Why? <laughs> How are you- I can't- How did that- Did you slide off? He slips on everything because he's wearing fucking ice skates! <laughs> Jump! You dumb motherfucker! <laughs> Finally, the story of Minorino Director's Cut is truly excellent. The writing in this game is up there with some of the greats, like The Last of Us and Shakespeare. The game tells us the story of a working man, Minorino, and his journey to retrieve his place of business back from the aliens who stole it and put it on top of a mountain. But the story isn't just two-dimensional. It also has a deep socio-economical commentary on the poverty that corrupts the Brazilian government. And it is so seamlessly written in that you might forget it's even there. What is, what is that? They're taking Gums What? Lose. They took it. <laughs> bastards. You can't do that. Oh, he's huge. And that is all for this video. I honestly cannot say enough good things about this game, and it honestly saddens me that many of you out there haven't experienced this game for yourself. I was fortunate enough to have received it as a gift on my Twitch stream at twitch.tv slash milkmansteve underscore from my friend Pineapple. Thank you, Pineapple, for blessing me with this holy game. Uh, thank you, PixelKLD285, uh, for the follow. The you son of a bitch. But that is all for now. And to whoever made this game, I wish you only good fortune, and I hope to see more games from you in the future.
I refuse to believe this game was made by anyone that is above the age of 18. Like, there's no way someone genuinely made this yeah. as a game Restaurant being a legal adult and went, this is a passable video game. Oh, you're gonna die. <laughs> Aren't you so happy you, you we managed to convince you to play with Steve? No. Aren't you just not at all. This that is genuinely this is genuinely the yes. worst made game I have ever played.